This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Pavilion DV7-7010US laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a HP Pavilion DV7-7010US. Before we go any further, I want to sh make sure that you're watching the right video. The DV7 has uh, several model variations. The model is changed about once a year, and the procedure for each model variation is different. So uh, for a DV7, say that ends with a 6 after the dash, the procedure is different. So let's make sure we're doing the right one. So let's look at the model number here. That it says DV7-7010 US. Every year when HP comes out with a new model of the DV7, they increase the number after the dash by one. So this particular one has the seven after the dash. The previous model had a six after the dash. The model before that had a three after, I mean a four after the dash. So I don't know what happened to the five. The, the number to look at is the number right after the dash for the DV7, and for this, make sure it's a 7. After the 7, there can be some combination of letters and numbers, but make sure it's a 7 after the dash. Okay, so that's the first thing that we want to look at for this laptop model. Next thing is before we do anything with this laptop or any other laptop, we want to remove the battery so that the laptop is safe to work on. And in order to do this, we flip the laptop over, and there's a lever right above the battery. We slide that to the right. The battery pops up, and we removed, remove the battery. Now, one more thing while we're on the bottom is if the label on the palm rest is missing and you can't find the model number from the palm rest there's one more place where you can find the model number and it's not very obvious so there's some under the battery there's some barcodes at the bottom of the label and in between the barcodes let's see if we can get a good focus there we go the middle line says model DV7-7010 US. That's where else you can find this model number. Okay, so let's keep moving. We flip this laptop over again. And before we get started with the disassembly, we're going to show you the tools that we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 stands for size. That's the screwdriver we'll be using the most. We also have two other tools, two other screwdrivers. One is a PH00 screwdriver for smaller screws. We may or may not use the screwdriver. And the third screwdriver is a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver. We don't have any flathead screws, but this one is useful for prying things open, and we'll most likely use this screwdriver. We also have a pair of metal tweezers, sharp metal tweezers, to remove any screws that may be stuck. And an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife to remove any screw covers that we may encounter to get to the screws. Okay, so let's get started. This, like most all other laptops, has a plastic frame around the screen assembly, also known as the bezel. This is the plastic frame that needs to be removed in order to get to the screen assembly. And typically, this plastic bezel is held on by some screws. But uh, for this model, HP threw a trick at us. The screws are hidden. Usually there are some plainly visible plastic screw covers or rubber screw covers either at the top or at the bottom of both that you can see and you can remove the screw covers. But HP did not do that. They hid the screws behind this speaker grill at the bottom. There's a 
there's a piece, a long piece of plastic with a perforated hose that looks like a speak grill at the bottom, and they hid the screws behind there. So let me show you. For this, we use our exacto um, knife or a hobby knife, and what we need to do is peel back this plastic a little bit. I already peeled it back before to figure out where the screws were, so it's a little bit easier for me. But reach in with your exacto knife and peel it back and the screw is exposed over here and we do the same thing over here peel back the plastic and once again the screw is exposed so we have the plastic peeled back and then we use our ph1 screwdriver to remove the true screws at the bottom so a little bit tricky but we can do it so one and two and for each step I like to keep the screws in a separate pile and that helps me keep track of which screws go where when I put the laptop back together and I keep the piles in the order in which I remove them okay next step is to remove the screen bezel we snap it off once the screws are removed and in order to that we put our fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up the problem with this laptop is that there's some adhesive between the screen bezel and the screen itself so you will have to lift it up slowly and you'll hear for snapping sounds and you also listen for adhesive coming off so take your time on this it's probably the hardest step it's a little bit easier for me this time because I already did this once with this laptop computer but keep going around. When you're lifting this up, you'll hear adhesive coming off, but keep going. And you hear snapping sounds also. So we can kind of tell from this side. We go around the screen, like so. We keep moving around. And there's quite a bit of adhesive on the bottom, so slowly lift it up, like so. Might need to use some force to pull it back. Once you do that, we have to open up a seam on the back of the computer also. So there's a seam between the screen bezel and the back of the screen assembly that we have to open up on the back. And then we use for that, we use our X-Acto knife to pop it open a little bit. This screen bezel is a little bit harder than most other ones. So kind of go and try open the back you'll hear snapping sounds like so go all the way and make sure you get to the corners same thing on the other side pry open make sure you get to the corners once we do that we use our flathead screwdriver two millimeter flathead screwdriver and we reach in under, under the hinge covers right here there's one here and two here so we reach under the hinge covers to lift up the hinge covers like so we snap them open like so and then we pull uh, the whole assembly forward and it was stuck here so we pull it forward and kind of lift it up and go like this so pull forward lift it up and go like this and you might want to try several times to get this but it will come off okay so this was by far the hardest part of the whole procedure after that it's fairly easy there's not too much to do after that so take heart it's not that hard all right once we get to the screen assembly this type of screen is mounted on some metal mounting brackets on the sides with some screws so we have to access screws on the side so thankfully for this laptop model the screws are very easy to access there will be either two or three screws on each side and we tilt the back screen back slightly and then we remove those screws on each side so for this particular laptop there's two screws but some other ones might have three screws so remove one and two and start a separate pile once again and do the same thing on this side remove one 
and two, like so. Once you remove the screws, make sure the screen was tilted back a little bit so it doesn't fall forward on you. You gently start tilting the screen forward, and right away we see that the webcam cable has adhesive that's stuck to the back of the screen. So we have two choices. We can either hold on with your fingertip and make sure the adhesive is removed from the webcam cable. But when this happens, we can't tilt the screen forward because the webcam cable is stretched. So what we're going to do is pull this webcam cable out. It should come out fairly easily. Just pull it out, but make sure to remember to connect it when you put the screen back in. And we tilt the screen down like so. Okay, so let's take a look at the back of this screen. This screen has only one connector that we need to remove, but before we do that, we have to lift the adhesive off the back of the video cable where it's attached to the screen, and also lift the adhesive off the webcam cable. So we lift up the webcam cable and gently lift off the adhesive from the back of the screen, like so. And once we do that, there's some adhesive tape on top of the connector. So we slowly lift that up. And for this particular connector, there's another trick that you need to know. There's a little metal bar that locks the connector together. So it tilts up and down. So you, with your fingertips, lift up this metal bar. And once you do that, you can slide the connector out. So it's slid right out, just like that. And the screen is free now. But before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect this type of connector. So what we do is slide in the connector, and you'll feel but not hear two clicks. Once we slide in the connector, you'll lock the bar into place. And let's take a look how the connection should look like. Okay, pause the video right there. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. That means it's a good connection. And the reason I'm emphasizing this is this is where people have a lot of trouble with the connection. All right, so let's keep moving. We lift, we remove the screen again. And let's take a look at the screen again. It's a 17.3 inch LED screen. It's not too hard to find. Let me give you the model number that you're looking for, or the part number that you're looking for. if we can get a good focus. Camera doesn't want to cooperate with me. There we go. The number that you're looking for is B173RW01. B173RW01. So when you get your new screen in, and most likely the part number will not be the same, but the screen will look exactly the same and have the same specifications. Now you can also buy this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get for us is a two-year warranty on the screen. We ship this exact same toolkit for free with the screen. We ship from East Coast locations and West Coast locations from the United States. So most likely we get your screen in two days or less using ground shipping, so it's fast delivery. And if you live outside of the United States, we ship to most countries globally also. Just go through the regular checkout procedure. And finally, we have free email technical support. So if you get stuck on any stage of the procedure, please send us email and we'll walk you through. So to order the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com and there will be a short form for you to fill out with the laptop model number, your email address, and the short description of the problem. 
you'll fill that out, form that out, and we'll send you email with the link to buy the right screen online. Or if you want to do it quicker, just click search for your screen on the bottom of the page and you'll be taken to the search page and just type in the laptop model number and then you'll be taken right to this page where you buy the screen online. Okay, once you do receive the screen, it's a fairly straightforward procedure to put it back in. So put the connector back in like I showed you. Then when lifting the screen up to the back of the screen assembly, just slide in the webcam connector. It's pretty easy. It slides in by itself. Once you do that, secure the four screws, two on this side and two on this side, or if you have three on each side, secure the three screws. Snap the screen bezel back on with the exact reverse procedure like I showed you and go around the edge of the screen and press around the edge of the screen to snap it back on. Put the two screws in at the bottom and put in the grill, speaker grill cover on top of that and that should be it and you should be good to go. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.